How's it going everyone? If you're like me, then you know how hard it is to find the perfect men's pant for that everyday wear situation. So I wanted to create a video just talking about the different pants that I've come across and put them head to head. Now some really popular pants on the market right now are the Built Everyday Pant, the Cuts AO Pant, and Lululemon's ABCs, and then the Lulu ABC Commission Pant, which those are very similar in themselves, so I kind of just grouped them together. With that said, we'll be putting all those pants head to head and we'll see who comes out on top. That's what this video is gonna be all about. Now, let's get into it. In order to compare all of these pants, I'm gonna be talking about the durability, the material, the cost, and the overall style. So that'll kind of be the groundwork that we do as we go throughout the video. So first up is going to be talking about material. So for the Cuts AO pant, I think the materials actually probably comes in third place. The reason being is it's just a little bit thinner and a little coarse and itchy if I had to describe it in any way. Compared to the other ones are really, really soft, extremely stretchy and just like extremely comfortable when you put them on. With the cuts, you know, I was just not loving it. I, I could definitely look forward to taking the pant off whereas these other ones, I did not feel that way. So that's gonna come in at number three. My number two ranking for this specific metric is gonna be the built everyday pant. It's extremely, extremely comfortable, really, really stretchy too, and I thought the material was the closest to the ABC pant. Now, as you can tell, that would mean number one would be the ABC pant. And if you're wondering why, it's just because it's the softest and most comfortable by far. I haven't had them really pill much over time as well. So I'm gonna give the Lululemon ABC pant the number one spot in that respect. All right, next up, we're gonna be talking durability. And in the three spot is actually gonna be the built pant here. And the reason for that is the button itself. Like that is enough to make me concerned with buying this pant. It's essentially the same as like a shirt button where it's sewed on and I just know after some time it's probably gonna fall off and I don't know how to sew. And so unless you have a girlfriend or a significant other that does know how to do that, or maybe you even do, then it's probably not a big deal. But for me, like those pants probably would not get worn for another few months. So for me, we're putting that durability in the three spot. Cuts is gonna be in number two because the button system is interesting again. It's a clasp on the inside and then just like a snap on button on the outside. I think it's gonna be plenty fine. I have multiple dress pants that have lasted really, really long using the same system. It's just honestly not my preference. And then the material, like I said, is a little bit thinner than the ABC pants. So in terms of durability, then I don't know. I don't really think it can beat the ABC in terms of that. And number one, obviously I am going with the ABC pant. I've had multiple for years. I had noticed sometimes the stitching would come undone, but that's the great thing about Lululemon is you just take it into the store and say, hey, you know, this is ripping. Can you hem it or fix it? And they go, no, but you can get a brand new pair. And so like, that's pretty hard to beat, honestly. With the ABC pant, I really do like the button on the ABC. It's just your classic like metal button that you would pretty much find on jeans. Additionally, with the built pant, I just didn't love the zipper. I actually thought the zipper for the cut pant was a little bit better. And then the ABC is kind of the standard. I think they actually both use YKK zippers, both the ABC and the cut pant. So the zippers to me were like a non-factor for the cut and ABCs. All right, next is fit and style. Now, again, I'm gonna start out with the number three. And personally, and this is just my preference, I'm gonna put cuts at number three. I actually think it looks great. The one thing I didn't like about it very much is the ankle area was not as tight as I would like it to be. And I'm certainly not expecting a jogger look, but that being said, it's just a bit looser than the two other pants. And sometimes I do personally like to roll my pants up a little bit. It's just kind of my style and I like it. And these pants didn't really allow me to do it all that much. So for me, I didn't like that. But if you're looking for maybe a little bit of a looser fit, especially around the lower leg area, then I think it would make sense. But for me, I'm gonna put it at number three for that reason. Now, number two is actually gonna be the Lululemon ABCs. The reason for this being is I just really, really actually liked the way that the built pant fit. It was really, really slim, almost to the point actually where it was borderline too slim. So if you don't like a lot slimmer of a pant and it be tapered really, really well, then maybe the ABCs or even the cuts actually might be your preference too. But I did personally prefer the fit of the built pant 
just when it comes down to how tight the taper was all throughout the leg. I thought they nailed it and I thought the fit looked extremely, extremely clean. All right, last up, let's talk cost. So at this point, we're actually pretty much splitting hairs. The most expensive would be Lululemon. In second place, $4 cheaper is Cuts. And then even $4 cheaper than that, I think at 120 bucks is the Built Everyday Pants. So at the end of the day, like for me, cost honestly isn't a factor. So you have to look at these other things where it really does matter. And for me, at the end of the day, I personally prefer Lululemon just with that peace of mind of being able to return the product and knowing that it's a tried and tested product. So for me, that's a big tell. Now I'm gonna add some video here at the end with some music just to kind of show off each of the pants and you can kind of make up your own decision what looks best for you because like I said, it is all preference at the end of the day. However, there were a few things as I mentioned earlier with each pant that did concern me. Now I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and throw a thumbs up to get the video to more people just like you. On this channel, I'm doing reviews, try-ons, how to fits and things like that all the time. And it'd be great to have you along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed the video again. And other than that, I guess we'll catch you on the next one.